and now you're putting in your two equivalents of. So then we would have like two, like we don't need to show the mechanism, but just to like understand, we would have like two crazy. Yeah, we won't worry about the mechanism. But we should draw the intermediate. Oh, two. We don't, when you're doing hydrogenation, you don't really pay too much attention to the equivalence of hydrogen. drawing of the intermediate. So it looks like you just left out one thing, which is the acid catalyst for this step. We need um, that Lewis acid catalyst. Oh yeah. BF3 is the easiest one for me to remember there. Is that the one they use in the book? They use both. Yeah. Well this is a real good synthesis problem. This is pretty typical of exam problems. Um, so this reminds us, after all, what's this chapter about? It's about making aldehydes and ketones. No, I'm sorry, this chapter is about what you can do with aldehydes and ketones, but we need to know how to make them. So what are our ways of making aldehydes and ketones? Well, we can make them out of alkenes with ozonolysis. And the other way is that we can make them out of alcohols with PCC. Those are our two big ways to make aldehydes and ketones. If you start with an alcohol, you can use PCC to make an aldehyde or a ketone. Or if you start with an alkene, you can use ozonolysis. Yeah. The other clue that we have to use ozonolysis here is that we're cleaving completely this carbon-carbon bond. And that's the only way we know to cleave carbon-carbon bonds completely, is ozonolysis. Finally, guys, did you guys notice there was a hint on that problem? Mm -hmm. In 12-12. I bet if you went back to 12-12, that would be the section on ozonolysis. So it's always good to use the hints if you get stuck. And then we didn't go over amines. That would be category three, right? Yeah, that's right. It sounds like that's what uh, you said. Uh, the instructor was still in the middle of that. Yeah, so. we've like barely touched on it. That's a separate step from the ozone. So how many steps did we have here total? One, two, three, and four. Okay. These videos are offered on a pay what you like basis. You can pay for the use of the videos at my website. There is a link to my website in the info box. The address is www.freelance-teacher.com slash videos dot htm or you can just use the link in the info box. By the way, I also offer tutoring via Skype and you can find more information about that Skype tutoring service at my website. Thanks.